This is the FRC uh, patrol boat for the U.S. Coast Guard. We're on contract at this time for uh, eight vessels. The boat's 154 feet long. It's got a, a speed of 28 knots. It's uh, basically a standard patrol boat, and it's going to do everything from drug interdiction to search and rescue, coastal patrol. We've got a, a speed requirement of 28 knots in, on the patrol boats, so that's pretty fast for, uh, for this size vessel. In order to do that, you have to save weight. We were able to, uh, to to do that in a number of ways. I mean, steel and aluminum, the thin steel and thin aluminum is, is, is one of our areas that we succeeded through, throughout our, our organization, especially in patrol boat building. We always knew, all, well, I knew and a lot of us knew that there was always something better out there that we get because we needed to find something that could help us control distortion. Distortion was, was a big factor for us. And it, which, you know, in the MIG well and way we were doing before, it, it cost it. So it cost us a lot of rework. When the FRC project came about, we were uh, just finishing rollout with the Alumafeed system. And uh, so timing was perfect. I knew it was going to be a competitive situation, big time. And uh, I thought I would have an advantage with the Alumafeed system. So took it in, did a demo. Uh, the guys, first thing the guys said was ease of operation. That was number one. The second thing was the profile pulse. It helped take a beginner welder, inexperienced welder, and turn him into a certified welder just in a matter of a few weeks. Third thing was um, reliability. They like the fact that we're made in the USA and uh, that we back our products and serviceability. We have the technology. Also, it's user-friendly for our welders out there. That's what we're looking for. So when I started looking for this machine, and that's what I was, because I was a well at hand, I want something that was using, I don't want to some, get something that's going to scare me. Can't take something like that and try to implement it into the field with these guys. It's, it's something that's going to scare them. It's never going to work for us. So that's what we were looking for, user-friendly, and I guess Miller heard us. And, and they come through on it. You know, what we look at is, number one, will it work for our, in our organization? And how we do that is we'll get the welder involved and we say, okay, use this process. Tell me what you like about it. Tell me what you don't like about it. And let's figure out if we can make it work. What we're looking at is productivity, quality, and then in, in, in making a major purchase, what we're looking at is we like to have a payback of about a couple of years. And these, we, we figured that we probably got to pay back quicker than that.